Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'll show you how to use On One Resize for some print preparation. Now in my case, I'm preparing a print for a canvas. And in particular, I want to do a reflected gallery wrap on the canvas. Now the company I'm doing my print with, they don't offer this in their own preparation software. So I'm gonna use Resize to do the work for me up front. Now uh, here's the, the photo, it's loaded into Resize. And I want to do some things with the document size. I wanna match the settings that are given to me by my print lab. So let me show you an example of that. So I'm doing this print with Sol Digital and Sol's really good about having lots of details for here's my canvas and I'm doing a, a two by three print that aspect ratio. I'm doing a pretty large print. So in a landscape orientation right here, we've got 23.62 inches by 15.75. And that is without the bleed. So meaning the bleed is what would wrap around the edge of the canvas. You can see that with the bleed, the sizes are larger. So I want to make sure I size my document, my photo document to this, so that when I do that wrap, I'll let resize, add in the additional pixels it needs. But also notice they tell me how big the bleed is. So 0.787, or I would say 0.79 inches. I can set that in resize for the bleed. Let's get back over to resize. And I need to do a couple of things here. So first I need to enter in the width and the height of the photo. So we'll start with 23.62. And this is giving me 1576. I was 1575 to be precise before. I'm gonna be okay with this. I'm not gonna worry about a 0.01 inch difference. And I trust Saul to do any minor adjustments that need to be done there. If I really needed to make a change, I can always go into the crop and I can just nudge down to like 1575, position the crop window however I need it, and say apply. And that will take care of making it exactly the way it needs to be. Now the other part is I wanna add that gallery wrap. So over in the gallery wrap, I'll turn on that tile, show the details, and here's where I can specify the thickness. Now at the stairwell is where you can obviously see where that reflected wrap happens. We said it was 0.787 inches. I can only do up to hundredths of an inch, so I can say 0.79. And on one resize is making things all fine and according for me. And then I am basically done. If I wanted to, I could adjust the settings for the actual resize. There's a slight increase on the file size that I'm doing here, the dimensions of it. And as a default, the genuine fractals method and these settings work very well for landscapes. So from here, all I need to do is export it as a high quality TIFF JPEG, whatever's required by the print lab. I'll send that off to them and I'll get my beautiful canvas back. And by the magic of the internet, I have my canvas now and you can see it looks great. It's a wonderful size and you can see there's where that gallery wrap is. You can see the stairs being reflected. So on one resize, did what it said to do. I gave it the dimensions. It worked out great with my print lab and I've got a wonderful canvas to go hang on the wall. So that's just one example of using on one resize for print preparation. It's great as a general scale up and scale down program. It does a very, very, very good job of maintaining all the various details in your photo. And if you're doing something with a canvas or you wanna do something different with the, the border and the wrap of the canvas, take a look at the gallery wrap tile that's in resize. There's a bunch of different options there. I did a reflected wrap. You can do toned down colors. You can do solids, all sorts of stuff. And if your lab gives you the dimensions of their prints, it's very easy to get everything resized perfectly for a beautiful print you can put on your wall. My name is Scott Davenport. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy shooting.